welcome back uh today's video we are doing a garden recap 2022 of everything that worked and didn't work and all of the beauty that came out of it uh, i wanted to bring you guys along for the ride so this is what the garden looked like basically at the start of the season this was may 7th um my birthday i went and bought some flowers and i had some seed starts that I had bought for a tomato plant, pepper plants, things like that. So I went ahead and um, picked those up on my birthday along with the flowers and just kind of prepped everything for the summer. Not all of these pictures are really progress in the garden um, with things that I grew. A lot of them were just really pretty and heartwarming moments throughout the summer. Um, there's a few of my dog in here. She absolutely loves living where we live right now. We have the creek in our backyard, and she was in and out of that all summer, swimming around, playing in the water. I am definitely still a beginner green thumb gardener. Um, this will be my second year being able to garden and use our property to try and produce some food for us to eat and just enjoy being outside in the beauty of the summer. Um, I learned a lot from last year, things that I want to approve upon this year and things that I will not be doing again this year. These photos are in no particular order, um, but I am super excited going into this garden season to document things better with dates, pictures, videos, the whole shebang, so I can have everything as a recap at the end of this summer. Um, I wish I had taken a note of when I planted these potatoes, but that was August 6th when I ended up harvesting all of them, and that was so much fun. Um, I also tried a peach pie. Um, I think it's actually more of like a peach galay, I think is how you say that. Um, it didn't have the top crust on it, but it was absolutely amazing. If you noticed in the initial picture of the video, um, all I really had was like an old cattle tank and a raised bed. So I definitely overcrowded the raised bed. The cattle tank had all my potatoes in it. Um, here are my micro carrots. They were definitely way too overcrowded in that raised bed. Um, those are just some of the mistakes that I made last year, the live and the learn part of things. Um, but I definitely have a better idea of what I want to do this year, and I'm super excited to see everything flourishing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, again. I was super excited and proud of myself about these pepper plants, but the peppers never got big enough to enjoy, and there was an early frost that kind of knocked out all of the plants. My cucumber vine definitely prevailed when it came to what I got the most of this year, or this last year in the summer. Um, I think I ended up being able to harvest four large cucumbers. I was also lucky enough to be able to harvest some of the flowers that I had planted earlier in the summer and that also grew around the property and it was absolutely beautiful and stunning and I was so happy that I could bring them inside and enjoy them. When the heat of the summer was officially over, I guess you could say, um, I did end up bringing a bunch of stuff inside to try and keep it alive through the winter. Um, my large potted arrangements. I really wanted to keep those guys around, so I brought them inside, and I'm doing the best I can. All right, so I've been meaning to start a YouTube channel, and now is as good a time as any um, to show you what I'm doing. So, at our new house, this summer I was able to use the garden beds that were here so let's see if I can show this pretty well I have some zucchini working right here 
my carrots, which are way too close together. <laughs> that was trial and error, but they are beautiful. Not very big yet, but we're getting there. Not bad. Um, I have cucumbers right here, and I got a little guy coming in. I already got one off of that plant that was huge. And my cherry tomatoes are absolutely flourishing. Um, they're not getting super red and ripe, but they're pretty good. And then my peppers. I have peppers in here too, but those aren't really doing much. And I have this old stack water tank. Um, so I tried potatoes in here for the first time. And that, let me just tell you, was absolutely incredible. Um, this is what I got <laughs> from all the plants. And then there's quite a few that we have inside yet. Um, but very happy with how everything grew and flourished this year with my first time trying to grow vegetables. Um, I was absolutely blessed with how beautiful of a harvest that I've had so far. And before I forget, here's one of our little carrots. They're doing pretty well. So before the end of the growing season is over, I thought I would try to grow a few more things. So I planted some radishes. Um, I tried some sour gherkin. So I think it's probably a little too late in the season for that to do much of anything. Um, it takes about 67 days to germinate or to maturity, excuse me. Um, so we'll see if that really does anything. And just for fun, I wanted to try growing. Right here, I just have this little patch. Um, this is borage, an edible flower. And I thought that sounded fun. Um, we'll see if anything comes up this year yet. It'll just be a pretty purpley blue flower if it does. Um, I don't know if I really plan on eating it, but I thought it looked pretty. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how lucky I get. Um, I also have some jalapenos in a planter on our patio. We're going to see if those do much of anything. And radishes, if I did not say that already. Um, my dad loves radishes, so I thought I would try that for him. You want to eat that? My dad? You want to say hi? You want to <laughs> she has been trying my carrots every single time I pull one to see how big they're getting day by day. She tries it and spits it on the ground, so that's great. But anyway, so that's what I've been doing um, this year, garden-wise, and I can only hope for better next year. Super excited. I'm going to spend the winter planning, um, planning, plotting, reading everything that I can to make sure that next year I can have more, I can produce more, I can try more, and we're going to see what happens. I am so excited to see what this summer holds, and I just wanted to say thank you everyone for watching.